A big story is a roller coaster fight with COVID tearing a Homewood man away from his family for 70 days. Good evening, I'm Art Franklin. Sherry Jackson is off tonight. And during that time, the man missed Father's Day, his 52nd birthday, and spending time with his family. CBS 42 News reporter Jen Cardone live in Birmingham tonight. Jen, the man's sharing this story really to help others, right? Yeah, that's right. And he says it's because he and his family were not able or had a chance really to get the vaccine before they all came down with the virus in May. Now, Ben Trailer had the hardest fight. He was on a ventilator in the hospital for six weeks fighting everything you could have possibly imagined. He says it's a fight and something his family should have never had to go through if only he had gotten the shot. There she is. Well, what did you miss most about that? Ben Trailer could have never imagined holding his two boys again. It hit me like a ton of bricks. I went from cutting the grass to being in an ambulance in a matter of a day. The family came down with COVID around Memorial Day. Ben's fight changed everything. My wife was told I, I may not live and she had to come home, put the, ki put the kids to bed with a, the best smile she could muster all because I didn't get a shot. Ben's wife, Donya, spent every night going back to the hospital to check on him, reassuring him everyone was safe. They just wanted him back home. Several doctors and nurses have told us that, you know, it, it wasn't looking good and it's, it's a miracle he's here. But it's amazing that this little bitty piece of plastic can, can make me so mobile. But the road to recovery is a long one. Ben has limited mobility, especially in his right leg. When you're in a coma, for so long, you lose all your muscles sure. and the battle scars from where he was hooked up to the ventilator away from his family 70 days to miss all that time. I haven't dwelled on that I'm too much. I've, I'm more dwelling on what I'm going to do with the time I've got because it really is a blessing. That's why I got the survival risk. But Baby Steps has been the name of the game all along, bringing him back home. Just like you would buckle your kid in a car seat, get the vaccination, wear your mask, it can't hurt anything, and I do think that the survival rate is much higher if you take those precautions. I'm just glad to be home, and I'm glad to be able to put my arms around my kids and tell them I love them. Now, Ben says that um, this changed everything with his life. His final memory before he woke up from his coma was watching his kids as he was being taken away in an ambulance. He says if you don't plan on getting vaccinated, that you need to have a checklist of all the bills and passwords and anything that your loved ones would need if the virus takes your life like it almost took his several times. Reporting live in Birmingham, Jen Cardone, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.